It's the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox. Pitch coming your way next. So almost ready to get underway. And starting this one, Chris Sale. Well, Sale's a strikeout pitcher, and the thing about it is he'll throw strikes early, but then start teasing the zones, and that's what the great ones do. You got to make sure you elevate him, get him out over the plate. That's the only way you're going to have a chance. DJ LeMayhew, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. Ground ball up the middle. To first. One up, one down. Here comes Aaron Judge. Big time power. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. One of the things you see every once in a while with a special talent is a guy who gets to the big league super fast. Chris Sale falls into that category. 13th overall pick in 2010 by the White Sox singing, and he debuted 60 days later at the big league level. There comes an 0-2 to Judge. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Two down. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. And here is number 61. Well, just a freak on the mound. And that delivery, something that people thought would cause injury for him early in his career, didn't. He started experience later on. But uh, no surprise that his favorite player growing up was Randy Johnson. Chris Sale looking for that shutdown inning. Swing and a base hit. Really nice job, a two-strike hit in that at bat. Nice swing to drive that pitch up the middle. Could have easily bit out in front on the off-speed and pulled off of it, but he was looking to use the big part of the field, and he executed his plan perfectly. John Carlos Stanton to the plate now. Duvall under it. And that is that. The Yanks leave one, and now the Red Sox get back here at the ballpark. And on the hill, Garrett Cole. It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming on the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. Here comes the 0-1. Ball one there. Next pitch is outside. When Cole's brother-in-law, Brandon Crawford, took him deep, Cole signed a pair of spikes for Brandon Crawford, one that said adios pelota and the other one that said out of here. Yeah, calls by the great John Miller and Dwayne Kuyper of the San Francisco Giants. And strike two. It's a hitter. You don't know what to expect here in the 3-2. If he'll throw a breaking ball 3-1, he'll do it again 3-2. Got him. One out. Here's Rafael Devers. Chris, you ready for a nugget? Ready. Rafael Devers homered in three straight games against the Yankees before he turned 21. The only other player to do that, Babe Ruth. The next pitch misses. Now one and two. It's a good take. Pitch misses two there. Two, two balls, strikes. two strikes. Kicks and deals. Got him swinging. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, you've got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, 
any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie and instead of it being a solo shot it's a two or three run homer just so sound in his mechanics hits against a firm front side and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field here's Alex Verdugo that's in there and that is strike one Hey. A strike. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they creep it into my mind right now. Toss to LeMahieu, oh. and Verdugo is set down. And the inning is over, and the Red Sox lead one. And welcome back. Here's the second baseman, Glaber Torres. Sale, back to work. Swings and lines a base hit into left field and the leadoff man aboard. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And now, new pitcher for the Red Sox, Zach Kelly. No outs, runner at first. Kyle Higashioka stepping in now for the Yankees. Center field, Duvall on his way over, tracks it down for the out, and there's one down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Ground ball could be two. To second, that's one. To Dahlbeck, double play. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. And we're back here at Fenway Park. Adam Duvall at the plate. And the right hander back to work. Pitch misses, and that is ball one. It's the slider in there for a strike. One and one. Ed Drummond behind the plate calling balls and strikes. Maybe one of the most respected umpires around the league. He's not the kind of umpire that you're likely to notice back there. And that can be a huge compliment, really. One so ball. if you're just kind of quietly doing your job, staying consistent with your calls, hitters, pitchers, managers, even fans, they're all going to appreciate nope. you. Ed ball. Drummond, he's that kind of umpire. Two, two. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him looking, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. Masataka Yoshida in the box now. Takes strike one. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Filthy changeup right there, just pulled the string. Now he steps off. One down, base is empty. That misses, it's a ball and two strikes. Really good take, especially with two strikes. A swing and a miss. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. We're going to take a look at the pitch sequence of that at bat, and the thing to notice are the pitch locations. Every single one of them on the edges of the strike zone, and as a hitter, that can be pretty frustrating because you don't expect the pitcher to be able to make quality pitches one after. And he's got it in right field for the third out, so that'll do it. Down in order go the Red Sox. We'll move to the third with no... Welcome back. And now the center fielder, Oswaldo Cabrera. Kelly back to work. On the outside corner, that's strike one. pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. Oh. 
out there to center. And that'll fall for a base hit. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. When you flare a ball out behind second base, it's really a tough spot for anyone to get to. And you're never trying to do that as a hitter, but when you do, calls it in, and there's one away. And now it's DJ LeMayhew digging in. Grounded out his first time. Late swing fouled off. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. You'll want. Line drive, base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Well, that at bat had a lot of pressure riding on it, so really great job coming through right there. It's got to feel good. Pitch was in and off the plate. So hard to do anything with the pitch in that location, but somehow he got the barrel to it and hit it well. Pretty amazing. Had a huge opportunity. Hammer could be extra bases. Runner around third on his way to the plate. One runs in. The relay. He scores all the way from first. A terrible job getting it back to the infield, and it cost them a run. Well, there you go. The RBI machine, another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. So the Red Sox go to the bullpen. John Schreiber. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. One down. Number 61 digs in now. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And he deals. And it's fouled away. Right side. Over to Dahlbeck. And they got him. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled over it. Got the ground ball. Giancarlo Stanton at the plate. 0 for 1 so far. That one ripped right center field. That's back there. And it is gone. A two-run homer. And they add on. It's 4-0. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And, you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that. And probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let that ball travel, and he got great extension on the follow-through to drive it out of here. Here's Glaber Torres. Swings and misses. And it's 0-1. Way out front for strike two. Boston's bullpen with some activity. Chris Murphy preparing to come on if needed. Bernardino warming up as well. The pitch. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So they move out in front after a four-run out. Back here at Fenway Park, Reedy here's Bobby Dahlbeck. The, Red Sox. the first base. The wind of the pitch. That one in there across the letters. And the pitch. Got him swinging. Slider got him for strike three. Here's the catcher, Connor Wong.
first pitch, and that's in for a strike. There's the swing and a miss. Set down on strikes. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Sedane Rafaela up next for the Red Sox. In there for strike one. Hey, seven straight strikes to start the frame. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. In for a strike, and it's 0-2. All right, there's number eight, one away. Deal two. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, you win this one four to nothing, and it feels like you could have exploded for more offensively, but you also realize that at times it was hard to score. So you get out of here feeling good about this win. Ultimately, there was great pitching and defense to keep that other team off the board. You always feel good about a win like this. A 4 nothing shutout in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by.